If you're looking for a cost certified Swiss watch, they won't leave you broke. Stick around, I'll introduce you to one. Formix is a Swiss watch manufacturer with 20 years of watchmaking history. They have developed over 40 in-house watch collections and they hold two unique patented features. The Essence was introduced via Kickstarter back in September 2018. And let's just say that they went over their original pledge goal by 321,000 Swiss francs. That truly is remarkable and having this watch in the metal I can truly see why. You see, the essence gives me some Royal Oak and Nautilus vibes, but it does so in its own unique way. I've said it time and time again, homage watches just honestly don't do it for me. Taking a design and copying it for the sake of making money honestly seems kind of lazy to me. However, when a watch manufacturer borrows an aesthetic from another watch and adds their own flair and unique features at a fraction of the cost, then they get my full attention and respect. This watch honestly does not feel like a $1200 watch, and in my opinion Formix is undervaluing this watch. I still can't believe that when they launched it, it cost around $700. Oh, you think I've gone crazy for making such a bold statement about a micro brand watch? Okay, let's go into the details and together explore all the awesome features this watch has to offer. I'm pretty confident you won't be disappointed, and by the end of the video, you may think the same way that I do. By the way, this watch was lent into the channel along with two other watches and at the end of the videos and the reviews, I do need to return them. However, Formix has had zero input on this review and any other reviews that I may have coming out, so please keep that in mind. The Formix Essence looks and feels super elegant, yet it does have a sporty feel to it. They do offer this watch in different iterations, so go check them out on their website. Before we go into any specs, let me show you this crazy suspension feature that they offer in pretty much all their models. Honestly, I thought it was a little gimmicky at first, but when wearing the watch, it really does work and it lessens the wrist fatigue. This unique patented case suspension system is tried and tested. The system has a unique mechanism that provides shock absorption to protect the watch movement as well as adapting to your wrist when in motion. And it really is cool. This watch is hand finished and it measures in at 43 millimeters. It's 49 millimeters from lug tip to lug tip, has a lug width of 22 millimeters and a height of only 10 millimeters. The watch case only has a weight of 80 grams and it has a 100 meter water resistance rating. These proportions do feel a little big in my opinion, but they recently just released a new iteration of the Essence 39. And Formix, if you're listening to this, I would absolutely love to both review one and own one. It's just perfection. The entire watch is made of 316L stainless steel that has a mixture of brushed and high polished surfaces and the details, oh, the details are incredible. The brushing on this watch really is next level for a watch of this price point. The hex screws around the bezel are where the case suspension springs are located, so they're not just there for show. The sapphire glass protecting the dial and the movement have been treated with a wide double anti-reflective coating, and of course having a sapphire is a must if you're trying to keep your watches from looking new and pristine. The overall look really plays with the Genta design and I really really like it. The bevels, curves, and the angular aesthetics are something that as a graffiti artist Speak to me on a personal level. The crown is located at the three o'clock and it's a push and pull style crown. It would have been nice to see a screw down crown, but you get a pass for me. The dowels another very impressive feature on this watch. The dowels are actually manufactured in the cradle of Swiss watchmaking, the Jura Mountains. At first glance, it looks very nice, but when you take a closer look, you can really appreciate the details. You can find that the vertical brushing plays it very, very well with the horizontal cut lines, which by the way, are CNC machined into the dial base one by one. Of course, this type of finishing is mostly found in high-end pieces. So to see this level of finishing on a watch of this price point is great. The applied indices have a brush finish on top and a mirror faceted bevels on the side. I also like the shape and finishing on the hands, super well executed. At the 12 o'clock, we do find the company logo along with the words Essence. And at the six o'clock, the words automatic, chronometer, 
and just below that the date complication and below the date complication the words Swiss made. I also like the chapter ring with the minute markers printed on it. I like that blue it really plays well with the dial. However the two concerns that I do have are the logo. In my opinion uh, it didn't look like it was designed for a watch company. It looked more like it was designed for a car racing team. But Formex recently updated their logo and it looks really good. But hey, after all, Formex watches were inspired in part by automotive you know, design and industry, so I, I get it. The other issue is the color date on the window. It would have been cool to see the color of the date window match the dial. But wait, they actually already did that on their Essence 39. So you're good, Formex. Let's talk about the super cool BGW9 Super Luminova that's been applied to the hands and indices. Obviously, this is not a dive watch, so Formex didn't have to go crazy with the loom. But to be honest, they applied a good amount of loom. It's respectable, and of course, as you know, loom is so awesome. And there's something about it that always brings a smile to my face, and it always takes me back, honestly, to like the late 80s, early 90s. And for whatever reason, it reminds me of the ooze from the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, doesn't it? Okay, okay, moving on to one of the most respectable things on this watch, and that's the movement. This essence features a fully decorated Swiss made Salida SW200 1, which is chronometer rated, and it's been officially certified by COSC. It features 26 jewels and a glissador balance wheel, date display, a custom built skeleton rotor with thermally blued screws, and the movement has 38 hours of power reserve. What's even more remarkable is that every movement has been meticulously tested for accuracy by COS, the official Swiss chronometer testing institute. You see, only 3% of the entire Swiss watch production goes through this 15 day certification process. So bravo Formex for taking the extra step to ensure the accuracy of your watches. Speaking of accuracy, this movement is accurate to minus 4 plus 6 seconds a day. Honestly, it's so relaxing staring at this movement. And I could tell that Formex really doesn't cut corners. I mean, look at it. This specific model came with a stainless steel bracelet. But they do offer different straps on their website and the cool thing about their straps is that they have a really easy to operate quick release system. Again, the attention to detail is great and this functionality needs to be implemented by all watch companies, please. The solid link bracelet has a mixture of brushed and polished surfaces. It features screws to size the bracelet and it's super comfortable to wear due to the way the links articulate and the different lighting makes it look really elegant. Operating this bracelet is very easy and the Formex logo is engraved and it looks pretty clean. Once we open the bracelet we are greeted with a male clasp. Overall I really like the look and feel of this bracelet but I would be curious to find out how this watch wears on a sailcloth strap or even a rubber strap. I have to say that this watch really exceeded my expectations and I would really recommend it to anyone that's looking for a bigger size watch. But again, Formix just came out with the 39mm version, so I think Formix really has you covered no matter what. If you ever have the opportunity to own one, I would say to pick it up because it's a heck of a watch. I'm impressed on how microbrand companies listen to their customers, and don't take 10 plus years to make a minute change. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and like this watch as much as I do. Stay tuned because I have two other Formix watches to review. And if you're new to the channel, welcome, my name is Miguel, and why don't you join us here at the SoCal Watch Reviews family. I promise it'll be a lot of fun and drama free. Anyway, my friends, thank you so much for your support. This has been a heck of a journey. Please comment, like, subscribe, and as always, my friends, stay humble.